Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change aspect ratio in Bing Image Creator. Before we start, hurry up and check out a software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you change the aspect ratio here for your generated images here in Bing Image Creator. Well, the thing with Bing Image Creator here, there are going to be some limitations that we could do here. So that includes changing the aspect ratio itself. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the image creator here for Bing and generate an image that you want to use. So for example, already created one or generated one here. So in this case, I want to use this photo. So go ahead and save that. You could go open it up here and basically choose the option that says resize at the very right section here. So once you click on it, you have the option changes to landscape or square, depending on your preference. Now it's going to start reloading it, so it might take a while, so you could go and just wait for it to fully load up. And as you can see, we just generated a different image here. So in this case, an extended version. But what if you have a very specific one here that you want to use or you want to have an aspect ratio for it? So the thing with this one is we need to use a different tool in order for us to do that, to do that exactly. So in this case, you want to go and download your file here or your image. So it's going to be a .jfif. So in this case, you can go and use any converter that you have. So in this case, I'm going to download this one as well. So I want to use the, uh, the last image. That, so so this, in this case, this image here. So let's go ahead and go to Google here. Search for any tool that you want to use. So I'll be using the uh, J, JFIF to JPEG for Fodor.com. Let's go and click on Convert here. Choose our image. Click on Open. And from here, let's go ahead and click on Download. Now, in this case, it should download the file itself. And let's go open it up. Open up the zip file here and let's go ahead and basically put this into our now folder. Now we have a JPEG file. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to start using that tool that I'm talking about. So you want to go ahead and go to on, online here. You want to go to Google. Just type in AI image extender. Now, what you need to look for here is a very specific link here. So you want to look for folder.com here that says free online AI image extender. Let's go and open it up. Now, let's go and click on Extend Image with AI. Choose our JPEG file here that we just recently could, uh, converted. Click on Open. And from here, you can go ahead and uh, basically change a few things. So, in this case, uh, there are going to be some different plans that you can get here. So, you can try Pro for free, but I'm going to go and close it up. Now, you could go and change a few things. How do you want this to extend? What is going to be the aspect ratio? But once you've chosen your size here, you can go and click on generate, but you need to log in. So let's go and choose our Google account here and choose our email here. Now, once you've logged in, it's going to start defining your content and start generating uh, the sections or the missing sections here. So let's just wait for this to fully complete. And as you can see, we've just generated a different image here. So we now have an extension to it, which is something really cool. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and use this photo if you want to. You could go ahead and click on download at the top right here. If you want to, let's go ahead and click on apply and download here to download the photo. You could choose the format if you want to, and you can go ahead and click on the start free trial here to download. Now, in this case, uh, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.